I'm minding my own business, right? Sat at the missus, right? Sat watching a bit of telly. Hearing a knock at the door. What the fuck is that? I said to her. She says, I don't know. So I look at her and I said, Well, the door ain't gonna answer its fucking self, is it? She said, You cheeky cunt. I said, Just go and answer the fucking door, see who it is. So she goes to the fucking door, right? And then uh, she calls to me. She goes, Gary, Gary, it's for you. It's for you, Gary. I was like, Fuck's sake. I goes up to the door, I ain't happy at this point, do you know what I mean? I was set watching a footy, I'm pretty pissed off, so I go to the fucking door, you won't believe who it fucking is, you won't believe me, I'll tell you. It's, it's the fucking badger from next door, I turned to my wife, I said, what the fuck is he doing at my front door? She said, don't be rude, I said, what the fuck, what the fuck do you want, mate? What this cheeky cunt says, he says I'm expecting a parcel tomorrow, could you uh, keep an eye out for it? Keep a fucking eye out for it, you cheeky cunt! Does he not realise I have a job? I turned to my wife and I said, Does he not realise I have a job, the stupid cunt, you stripey bastard? No, I will not look out of your parcel. He gets, starts getting a bit leery as I was only asking a simple favour. I said, Simple favour? You ain't in him saying, but you're interrupting a football. You're interrupting my dinner. I looked at him. I said, Do I look like a postman? And he went to carry on talking. I said, No, do I look like a fucking postman? And he said, No. I said, Right. And I said, do I look like a fucking post box? And he was started going talking. He started. I said, yeah, mate. Do I look like a fucking post box? He said, no. I said, right. Said, why the fuck am I going to look out for your shitty fucking parcel then, eh? Why, why would I do that? Why would I do that, you you fucking muggy can? You know what he said to me? He goes, well, you, you know, you, your meerkat, you're always bobbing up and down looking about. I said, you cheeky fucking bastard. I fucking, I nutted him, I did him straight in, I couldn't believe it. The fucking audacity of the bloke, the minerals on him. Fuck, I said, I cut your Jacobs off, you dirty cunt. And I shut the door, I shut the door, and I turned to my wife, and I said, You and I, open the fucking doors to that cunt again, and you'll be out there with him. Oh, and you best believe she didn't like that. She said, well, if you're going to be like that, I'm going out with Susan. I said, fuck Susan and all. And she fucking trolled all out. So I said, oh, well, if you're going to go for see fucking Susan, I'm going to go down a fucking boozer. So fuck you, you stupid slay. So I went down a boozer and got smashed. In, uh, in all the drama, I'm not going to lie, I didn't quite think things through. And uh, I didn't bring my house keys with me. And she's uh, fucking locked me out, isn't she, you can't. But now I'm sat in the park thinking, what the fuck am I going to do? She's not answering her phone, so I don't even know what I'm going to do now. Looks like I'm sleeping outside. You know what, I mean, I, I do think to myself, I think, Gary, you fucked up here, but at the end of the day, right, it was like, well, that fucking badger's fault, strutty bastard. I can, I can honestly say that I regret nothing. I'm a little bit cold, I'm not going to lie, but I'm furry. Fuck it, I'll be alright.